everyone to an episode of Morocco. Oh, so guys, we're here back into another episode where, as you guys know, we are about to do a major move on our parts, and I consider it very major. But we are going to declare war on our infamous enemies of the uh, Omanians. Well, not infamous, but the Omanians. And, well, first, first we have to fabricate a claim, though, because... Fabricating claim is what you first have to do, but then once we get a claim onto them, we're gonna go to war with them and just destroy all their allies. Cause yeah, I'm feeling in one of those moods this week. Like destruction, destruction, destruction. Anyways, over here we have uh we have a couple of islands over here, I think, that I'm trying to settle, like right here. And I wanna make sure that I don't have all these stupid Natives come after it, so we're going to divide our units up. Hmm. You know what? Just take the mercenaries. I don't even know why I still have mercenaries here. Yeah, delete the mercenaries first off. Let's delete that. Combine this army back up. Get this one mercenary band. Two mercenary band. Get them on the, uh, shit. Actually, just delete them. Why do I still have mercenaries? Oh, and I made my money actually go up. Why do I still have mercenaries, guys? Can somebody please explain that to me? Hi. Okay, so that was how many troops I had to delete. A good amount. <laughs> okay, well. Anyways, divide this up into like. Uh, you know what? That's good enough. Get all you guys on the ships, and we're basically gonna go send you guys to the island. Yeah, I know this isn't exactly the best compilation of how to set up army men, but it's good enough for me. And honestly, I'm going to use this 21 soldiers to go war and go into different states. Yes, we can accept your your military alliance. Well, not military alliance. Your very nice request to become our, our buddies. As long as we're linked towards in blood, we'll always be friends. Or at least until I want to backstab you and use you as a meat shield. That, that also works too. But anyways, let's get our colonies up to running. Get to there. And let's see, do we have shipyards everywhere? Shipyards, shipyards, yes we do. Let's see, grand shipyards. Wow, we're really on top of it. Hey, get a grand shipyard right there. Ooh, we could build a lot of shipyards there. Dry docks, oh. Dry docks, docks. Yeah, we're still doing pretty good on docks. Okay, so what we need to start doing is actually building dry docks or... Actually, let's keep building our constables and let's get these two places right here because they really... We want to make sure our top places are a little bit more built than our bottom places because this is really, if we, if we really must consider it, this is really what our empire is. The rest of those places are just all really good uh, outside stuff that we just own because we own. I mean, I, I can't really speak for them, but they're really just places that we own just to own. Okay, so yeah, these guys right here, you guys are going to be our main force to kind of keep the natives down over here. Because I do kind of want this island. I do kind of want this island. I don't know why, but I just do. It's like, become a part of me. Like, I do want the island of that to become mine. And I'm going to go send these troops over here to Adal. Because most likely when we get to war with Oman, Oman's probably going to use uh, these guys as their main, you know, helper fleet to go help them uh, kill me. So we're probably going to have to crush them. Uh, mostly. The 23 stack, we're probably going to have to crush them. But what I want to do quickly is just, just destroy all of these guys. Destroy all of these guys and then just, you know, mow down through the entire, entire Mamluk's land. In fact, I think this war, I want to take Gaza, Judea, Damascus, and Balashim. Just like this much of land. That way I can, one, divide up the land that the Egyptians have and, you know, kind of have a good tight border. And two, just kind of do stuff. Maybe I'll also, if I can, I'm going to try to enslave Iraq. You know, become my new vassal, which would be really nice. But I'm not sure because they might be a little bit too big. But I'm not sure. I'm, I'm really not sure. So we're going to have to see what happens there, too. Um, yeah. A lot of things happening this turn. That's all I got to say. A lot of things. Uh, right now, we are taking a little bit of money woes. I hate money woes. We can actually keep, we can actually keep the m income down just a little bit more. And let's see. We need we have a free diplomat. That's never good. So let's start improving relationships with someone. Hungary is like my new BFF, just because I made him my new BFF. Because no one else likes me, apparently, in the world, even though I really should become like Sweden. We'd be like perfect buddies. No, I don't want to kind of warn you guys. 
Perfect buddies. Seriously, you guys have a good tech. I have good tech. We should be buddies. Besides, I'm like the second most powerful nation in the world. Uh, not quoted by anyone else, but I believe I am. So that's how I'm going to see myself. Okay. And over here, burn at the stake. Uh, actually, we do actually want to gain some piety because we're actually going to go to war here soon. Which is actually needing piety growth. And let's go grab all those guys and go send them over here. And we could probably just have them sit right over there because... Well, let's be real here. I honestly don't expect either of these guys to have an insanely good navy like we do. Because we're basically a naval... Yeah, we're basically a naval, you know, army. And since I have such a great general, I highly doubt there's going to be anyone that's going to be able to beat him. So... Yeah, speaking of which, do we have a um, Muhammad guy leading something? Yes, we do. Oh, yeah, we're ready. We're so ready for this. We're so ready for this. Like, agriculture cultivation. Like I said, I'm not going to increase produc production costs yet because we still have. We're still dealing with a lot of production costs. Okay. Well, you know, raising this wouldn't be too bad. Hmm. Like, one. There we go. That should actually... Yeah, it did. Okay, like I thought. It should actually delete some of our money woes. And there we go. So yeah, once this war breaks out, we are basically all ready for it. We just have to wait for Oman to uh, fabricate a claim. When's it going to be done? It's almost done. It's about 93% done. Once that's done, we can basically declare war. Okay. Oman... I'm sorry to say this, but as nice as you are as a friend, and we've been pretty nice friends to each other, it's time for you guys to go, uh, bite the bullet. Um, it's nothing personal. You guys were great, but personally, I just don't want to deal with you guys anymore. Mm, yeah, just keep patrolling right about here. Yeah, because I don't, what I want to do, you guys, is basically make sure that I have no, like, their troops over here. So, yeah. Okay. Oman? I hope you guys saw this one coming, because I bet you anything, no one else did. And I do have a decent amount of other nations joining the war, so this should be good. This should be good. Yeah. Let's, let's break this out. Okay, so, you guys right here. Wait. Oh, wait. I have to wait for a second. There we go. You guys right here. Go right there. You guys go right there. Uh, you guys, I don't think you guys are going to lose this. Just in case if you guys do, though, I'm going to go have you, my mighty full army. Ooh, my goodness, that's a, that's a tough loss. Oh, shoot, sir. I completely forgot about this. Get my military up, raise their wartime taxes, got a lot of money. Okay. And there we go, defeat. Okay, we have all these guys right here going to get crushed. And, yeah, this is not going to end well for almost anyone in the, uh, Opposite. Huh. Oh, they have my troops. Okay. Land my troops right there. And then once you guys are done. Okay. You won! Who's all? Okay. And once you guys are done, I'm going to go have you guys go group up right here and make sure that no one crosses the strait. And now we're just going to watch as we slowly destroy all the hopes and dreams of these proud, mighty people. Oh. You guys split up. I sorry. I, I, I was so preoccupied. I didn't even pay attention to how you guys were spreading out. Okay, there we go. Now you guys make sure that they don't cross this straight right here, so that we can make sure we have complete dominance. And there we go. This is how a good militaristic plan works. Okay, it seems like we can already start carpet sieging over here. Kind of good too, because we kind of want to make sure that we have full access through these guys. Because if any of our other so-called friends do anything we could be winding up in a lot of difficulties okay go send this army over here I'm hopefully hoping that the Persian army is smart enough to realize to go attack other people yes the Persian army is attacking other nations so they should do pretty good because they're probably a pretty pious nation unlike us who are like the scourge of the earth integrating just work that's good let me break up more men because I want to make sure that I have the complete and other control over the territory I want to conquer Right here, then right here. There we go. And yeah, there we go. We basically have now got almost all the land we need. So let's just start carpet sieging. Yeah, great war, guys. 
Uh, this is much easier than the first time we fought these guys. I mean, way easier than the first time we fought these guys. And the ships have been lost in the Red Sea. Shit. Guys, go right here. Oh my goodness, you guys are idiots. Yeah, I think I might actually get... I think I might actually take Aiden, because Aiden's actually a pretty... Uh, annoying province to have, let's just say that. Because right now these people... Did, what? Where did we get nine troops just randomly coming through this land? Okay. I don't understand. But I hope they're not actually coming towards any of my good land. Like, please do not gather in any place that could potentially harm me. Okay, I know exactly where you guys are going, so I'm going to go send my troops over there to go crush you. There we go. And, yeah. This was this is the war, guys. The war that they will never, ever, ever be able to recover. Oh my goodness, that, this carpet teaching looks so beautiful. Like, it looks so beautiful. I'm about to cry. <sighs> Man. Yeah, this is a way better plan than the one I could have presented. Oh! Oh, oh god. Goo. Ooh. Okay, they have more morale, but we have less men. Come on, do not die. Yes. Good. Okay, combine. Uncarpet Siege, go right here. They're probably going to go somewhere over here, so. Uncarpet Siege, go right there. Yeah. Yeah, okay, I think we got most of our Carpet Sieges all dealt with. And it seems like Push is actually going to take some of the land I didn't want them to take. Uh, that's fine. As long as I take, like, generally this area and just divide up the Empire. And the two things. And is there anything specifically I have to take with my goals? Uh, conquer Balashim. Okay, so I do have to conquer Balashim before anything. So I better go make sure I get that province right there. Actually, I'm not sure where these guys are going, but I'm assuming it's right here. And, yeah. Just have to make sure I get Balashim and I'll get a lot of good prestige for it. Okay. And look at all that carpet siege. I love that carpet siege. And then all the, hero the hedges are also doing their own little part. Okay. The siege is over, huzzah! Keep, okay, keep combining then, because we don't want you guys to, like, not combine. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, it seems like they're preying on my units, of course. They, they don't go after anyone else's units, but... Uh, yeah, they're going to crush a lot of units before I'll be able to... You know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go send these guys right here to at least distract... Oh, no! Okay, you guys go right there. Go right there, then go right there. Okay, yeah, we're just gonna keep we're gonna keep doing this dance of happiness until at least more reinforcements arrive. There we go. Or at least until the Persians actually take care of business. Okay, that makes me nice. Okay, let's go. Let's go help crush these guys. Send my army in. Who's up? Crush them. Crush them like they were flies. Yeah. Okay. Send my army north. Let's go destroy the rest of them. Okay, is there any other units I can kind of combine to help advocate, alleviate some of these? No. Uh, it seems like we're still keeping them back over here. It doesn't look like they actually have any more army over here, which is good. And we got this all completely seated up, so that's good. And down here we have, like, an entire new nation, which is already accepted culture because we accepted the Mali. Ha ha ha. Look at that. Look at that, we are like nearing becoming all of Africa, which is so cool. Okay, let's continue though. Let's see, where do we have to go now? Come on, chase them, chase them. Do not let them recover, do not let them recover. Do not let them recover. Ah, oh, shista. Yeah, my troops are insanely bad. Yeah, I don't know how, I don't know when Baghdad's gonna finish, but I'm just going to. Combine all these guys. Ooh. Okay. Let's go. You guys go. You guys. Okay. Combine in Damascus. I'm going to have these group of men combine all in Damascus, creating a bigger army. That way they can do that. But it seems like the Persians are already taking care of some of the stuff, which is good. I like it when the Persians actually take initiative in this game. And conversion successful! Yeah! I got more piety gain, that's nice, but still not enough to do anything like this. I wish I could convert this last little bit of animus to my country, because that's really annoying. But apparently not. 
apparently they're going to be there forever. Forever. Okay, let's get you guys. Go send you guys to Alo Leaf. Go send you guys to Alo Leaf. Yeah, it seems like the Persians are occupying what they want. That's good. Damascus. Yeah, good. They're actually crushing this last little army. Good. I really, we really need to crush this army. Because this is really getting annoying. Okay, they did. They crushed this army? Yes. Okay. Do I have a good navy fleet over here? Yes, I do. Go send them out over here. And let's go destroy the last little bit of fleet. Uh, gain 10 prestige. Do I need prestige? I don't necessarily need it, but it wouldn't be bad. Let's gain some prestige. Yeah. And then have rebellion in Cairo. Yeah. Okay. Probably with the whatever armies combined right here, I could probably deal with it. So let's go have you guys stay right there. You guys combine, decombine, go right here. Yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of reorganizing of my troops once this is all over, but for right now we just need to combine, decombine, go right here. Okay, there we go. Completely carpet seeds most of everything we have. You guys are almost done carpet sieging. And then I'm hopefully, hopefully I can do what I want to do with these guys. Which is making my vassal. Because that'll make, that'll make annexation a very quicker process. Gaza is now over with. That's good. Move in right over here. Alright, new ideas. We could gain some uh, defensive ideas. No, we need to keep taking down and... We need to keep taking down in terms of militaristics and all that. I think we're falling a little bit too behind. Alright, got that done. Got that done. Yes, we got Balashim, which is the province we needed. And yeah. Oh my goodness. That that seeds go down there to that seeds, because that seed seems to be taking an insane amount of time. We may need a lot more troops. And oh my goodness, there's actually a gigantic army right there. Ooh. Okay, so let's see. Let's actually look at the Iraqi people and see if we could actually... I don't want to full energy, guys. Don't worry. Could we actually do what I want to do, which is... No. Shoot. Okay, well then. Alright, well then. Let's get you down to the point where you guys would be... Take that, and then next time I could probably get them down. Okay, give me as much gold as you will give me. Okay, do not give me as much gold as you give me. Give me 300 gold, we'll call it good. There we go. And Vorna. Lots of native uprisings. We are now having major problems in terms of empire management. Convert Culture conversion, we actually have enough to convert one province. That's nice. <laughs> Although... We have two Shiite nation. Oh gosh, this is gonna. I just realized this is probably gonna become a much difficult like empire to manage once we get to all Shiite and Sunni places. And no, I'm not gonna convert that because that's almost literally stupid to try to convert. Let's just say that. So I'm not gonna try that. But um, for the rest of it, uh, do oh the natives are just rising up on that. They're not gonna win there. I thought, I thought they meant like it was actually like a real rebellion somewhere. Of course the name's not going to rise up. Okay. By the way, court, court. I want to make sure we court these places quick. Court. Just keep sieging. We're just going to siege down all these guys. And the Persians seem to be dealing with the uh, Omanians, which is good. Benign neglect. Local trade power, sure. Okay. Alright. Seems like we have most of our armies now becoming full again. Com let's start combining them. And don't don't worry. Don't worry, uh, Mama Lukes. I'm going to get you guys out of the war. It's just not quite yet. You guys, you guys hate us, by the way. So I guess we can't annex you guys like I wanted to, but... Once they become my vassal, I guess it'll be okay. Okay, now we got 24 units right here. Let's see, is that a good stack? Eh, it's a semi-good stack. We could go send it out into the world at least. Okay, and let's see. Once these two finish up right here, I think this is what I'm going to ask for. Doom, boom, 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 boom. That's, yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to ask for. I'm going to try to get full maintenance. I just destroyed the entire army. I mean, fleet. Makes you feel even worse. Yeah. This entire war 
must make them feel so sad. I mean, they have absolutely no way they could defeat me. And I'm just destroying them. And I want to thank you guys for watching. I guess we won't be able to finish the war in this episode, but I guess we'll see you guys next time.